I've been at the Houstonian Hotel Club and Spa as the director of facilities for just under 15 years. The Houstonian campus is, uh, consists of a 289 room hotel, 125,000 square foot fitness facility, and the Trello Spa. And really our, our major priorities in, in order of magnitude are fire life safety and then customer satisfaction. Texas has got uh, a definite set of challenges because of the high humidity. Working through that, is, it can be extremely complicated. And our cooling tower system uh, is extremely, extremely important to the system and to our, our uh, client comfort because without those, we don't operate. We don't have a business without the cooling towers. So from a redundancy standpoint, a functionality standpoint, um, and reliability, the cooling towers are as important as anything else that we have on the campus. Electricity, uh, it's the same thing. Because of my, my extensive experience in engineering and in this business, I've had uh, multiple brands of cooling towers. And without directly naming names, they all have their inherent weaknesses. Um, our last cooling tower that we had, we had a catastrophic failure with one of our cooling towers, which we're not the only uh, plant operation or business in the world that has that um, based on the type of tower that you have. And so after we had a catastrophic failure, we rebuilt the existing equipment, we were operational, um, but we didn't have the redundancy and the reliability that we needed. And then ultimately we were referred to Tower Tech. Uh, we did a site visit, went up to their plant and uh, spent literally uh, looking at referrals, uh, investigating different plant operations, uh, commercial facilities that had towers, how long the company had been in business, and I think we spent probably just under two years actually researching tower options, knowing that ultimately when we got into a replacement, that we wanted this to be a, uh, what we would consider a 20 year decision, a long term decision. One of the things that really impressed me uh, was their plant manager and the fact that the cooling towers are all manufactured underneath the Six Sigma methodology. And the Six Sigma methodology was developed really back in the 80s uh, from engineers at Motorola that were trying to define and refine processes to the point where the number of defects were at Six Sigma, which uh, numerically is 3.4 defects per million manufacturing opportunities. And so because they operate underneath that methodology, and because you can see it, you realize that the towers are built to, to very, very stringent guidelines. Aesthetically, uh, most cooling towers are either stainless steel and galvanized, and they're an eyesore. They're easy to identify if you're driving down the freeway. You can see a cooling tower. It's the big bronze or galvanized box that, that looks tacky. Uh, the, cooling, the tower tech cooling towers are tan, uh, they're actually earth tone, and they're visible from some of our hotel rooms and the guests never seen them. They're, they're really transparent because of their aesthetics. We've had the towers operational now for seven months and uh, annually the maintenance is extremely simple. Uh, the way that the basins are configured on them it makes the maintenance uh, extremely simple. And as far as the maintenance on the fan motors uh, or the fans themselves, there's just really not a lot of maintenance that, that is required for them. On a conventional cooling tower, it has one or two fans. If you lose one of those fans, one of those fan motors, you lose cooling capacity. With the Tower Tech Tower, each one of the cooling towers that we have, based on the size and the capacity, has eight fans. Uh, they're seven and a half horsepower fans. They're easy for my maintenance crew to change out. They can do it without hiring outside contractors. The fans and the motors are re readily available. They're in stock. And if we lose a fan or a motor, we only lose 1 16th of our total cooling capacity. Whereas with our original configuration, um, and even some of the newer competitive brands, they might have four fans in their race. So if you lose one fan, you lose 25% of your capacity. You know, based on the way that the chillers operate, really there's two ways that you're gonna achieve savings. You're gonna achieve savings off the uh, kilowatt usage that the cooling towers have, and then the efficiency at which they reject the heat from the chillers. Uh, we're confident that our savings are probably 10 to 15% conservatively uh, higher or more savings than what we would have achieved with the other tower version that we used. And we had a lot of very intelligent engineers that work on our team that were part of that decision process. And it literally, when it came down to it, we, um, we knew why we wanted to buy the Tower Tech Cooling Tower. And since we've uh, had the initial installation of the Cooling Tower, um, startup by Cougar Sales has been phenomenal. Uh, they've done a great job, great um, service and support after the sale. Uh, the Tower product itself is really one of the nicest pieces of mechanical equipment we have on our campus. Uh, it's a showpiece for us, not just because of the way that it looks, but because of the way that it operates. And uh, of all the cooling towers I've seen, it, you know, for my own personal preferences and for what the needs of our campus are, we wouldn't have chosen anything different.